Welcome back to our series PHP World Application. It's Dale representing the Joe IT Solutions once again. More on PHP operators. So we have the increment operators, increment and decrement operators. Now, an increment operator is written as double plus increment the decrement is double negative simple as that those are the increment and decrement operators these can also be well demonstrated uh, in loops but still here if we have let's say x this means you are going to be adding it's going to be adding one every time it loops so if I run this X but this script will only run once meaning, meaning it will only add one so it our X will equal to 8 Okay, we need it to terminate this line. As you can see, 8, so it added 1. But if you put this into a while loop, to loop it over and over, it will keep adding 1, 1, 1. So, just bring this into here. Let's concatenate a space here. Just take a small space like that. So I wanted to print this the the increased value value with a space. And let's uh, say if x is still less than 10 keep printing when it goes equal or greater than 10 stop printing oh since it was 7 already by the time it prints the first value it is 8 now this increment is, is called post increment because it adds after the value but there is there is a pre-increment which adds before now if you are to change this to x and run our decrement decrement operator since x is a little bigger oh this should be greater So if x is still greater than 10, because x is 7, so if it is still greater or equal to 0, keep printing. As you can see, it decreases from 7, it decreases to 6 by 1, 5, 4, as you can see. So that's a decrement. Let's go to logical operators. Logical operators are used to combine conditional statements. And uh, let's just see those in examples. We are going to once again use the if statement. That's what we are going to learn next, by the way. So no worries. Let me do some multiple line commenting. So everything within this territory will not be executed. So in the comparison operators we have the AND or have X or another AND this is written like that we have another O written like this and the NOT single exclamation mark and the logical operator it returns true only if both conditions are true let's try to use this if x 
these variables are the one we're using x is greater than 8 and z and z less than 4 then print this statement else print false if x is greater than 8 and z is less than 4 which is 3 less than 4 this is true and this is true print true else print false so the analytical operator returns true only when both expressions are true okay as you can see it gave off false because this is 7 and 7 is not greater than 8 x is 7 and it's not greater than 8 but this one is true so both conditions must be true so let's write this 6 so this is x is 7 is greater than 6 which is true so let's run that and it gives off true so if any of these two expressions are not true it will give print the else side which is false right now anyways we have the o operator now this o operator will return true if one if at least one of these conditions is true or both right now both the conditions are true x which is 7 is greater than 6 that is true or z which is 3 less than 4 that is also true so we expect this to print true we refresh that true is printed now both are true even when we put this back to 8 now this one is false because 7 x is equal to 7 as you can see here 7 is not greater than 8 but z which is 3 it is less than x or operator will only return true if if one of these expressions is true but not both so when they are both false right now this is 3 3 being less than 2 is, is not correct is not true and x which is 7 being greater than 8 is not is not true also so that returns false now if we have both true it will still return false it only returns true when one of them is true but not both so it is the opposite of O O operator so let's try that and see uh, let's make both of them true let's make this 6 so 7 is greater than 6 true now 5 3 which is Z is less than 5 which is true that returns false also but if one of them was correct let's say 2 so 3 is less than 2 and it will turn true so one of the expressions must be true but not both that's xr now we have this and it's the same as this this r or is the same as this now this is not so x or if you want the opposite of this you just use that this one is usually used with one expression like this so if x is greater than 6 this is true it is true as you can see but if you, aren't, if you want the opposite you just put that exclamation it stands for not as you can see so this is not and those are the names we have some other operators we have the string operators these are especially for strings they're made for strings and among these we have the concatenation which is the dot I talked about that earlier in the earlier videos we also have the concatenation assignment shall use this in the future but I will 
demonstrate just a little about it. Okay, let's build a while to explain this. We have the concatenation and the concatenation assignment. Let's write a while loop. This equals Z just for for a mean time. But while Z while Z is less than 20, keep printing. Okay, let's run this. We've got some errors. Use of undefined constant Z. Okay, I'm supposed to put a dollar sign there. I'm breaking laws of creating variables. So do that. So, uh -huh. as you can see this z is overwritten every time outside the loop you can only access the last digit unless if you are to, to print it within the loop here only then you will access all the values that will be incremented here if each time it loops we are using the, this concatenation here this concatenates two values or two strings concatenate there and uh, concatenate some a space just a space like that so refresh we, we have also to concatenate that here if you want to see it as you can see z is 4 is 3 so it adds one here and starts adding one 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 until it reaches 20 anyway if you're accessing this out you will only get the last digit if you want to access all of these, then you have to assign concatenate as you can see here. Now let's print the value of ants after assigning all these z's here, all these z's into this variable. As you can see, you can access what you would have access within the loop. Now for this undefined variable ants, as you can see here, this ants should also be defined outside or before the loop. Uh, let, me, let me do that also. Should assign it, let's say you should assign it a value that resets it. You say ants equals to, you can say zero since it is a numeric. If there are strings, as you can see, the error is gone. If there are strings, you can just set it to null like that now oh, with single quotes like that here it also works because php is not strict with data uh, types as you know i think you've if you've gotten the point of the string concatenation assignment operator anyway that's it now uh, we have array operators uh, with the array operators we're not going to go deep into those we also have conditional assignment operators. We are not also going to go deep through those. So for now, let's keep it at that. We shall go through the array operators as we uh, as we learn about arrays and their con conditional assignment operators. We shall also study about those in the future. <coughs> Anyways, that's it for today. They are still representing the Joe IT Solutions. If you like the video, like it. Drop your comment down in the comment section and subscribe. Subscribe, I need your support. But uh, that's it for today. Anyways, see you in the next video.